Hello everybody, I'm back with another video for you today, and it's time that I play some Swarm Arrakis Swarm Monsters. It's an archetype that's actually quite popular at the moment and quite powerful as well. Definitely able to deal with some decks and just outpoint certain things that don't have, you know, counter cards to it. You know, maybe thinking things like Gezraz and uh, just Row Punish in general, Hemdal, etc. Got a little bit of a twist here. You've probably, I mean, you already know what the twist is. You've seen the thumbnail, you see the deck, and it is going to be Ihwaraquax with Old Spear Tip. You know, you're probably thinking, why? Just why on earth would you play this? Well, I wanted to do something a bit different to the standard Araka Swarm because I didn't want to, you know, just play something too regular and boring, something you've seen before. But I figured this might actually be quite good in Swarm. Um, I mean, it's not like really a benefit that it's in a Swarm deck or anything. It's more just it allows you to crush the opponent's win condition, hopefully. Take out something like a Gezraz, which might be a problem for you later on. Or a Hemdal, which might be a problem for you later on. Hopefully allowing you to counteract those very powerful cards. Maybe taking a different win condition instead. And when you get your own Spear Tip, well, that's quite a lot of points. Um, I wanted to do Plague Maiden here, but I figure... Just going to end up with too many units probably uh, on that front row, especially if you want to run a magic lamp. But you could try the Plague Maiden. I, I kind of want to do that and do a Paracrux Plague Maiden, get you really uh, crazy swarm value in that you know early game, and really save a lot of your other bronze swarming tools for later on. But yeah, it should be a very powerful deck. I'm imagining we're going to be able to swarm it up very heavily. Got the Behemoth, got the Triss and the Talismans, and all the good stuff there some different special cards as well of course possibly shouldn't be running so many i don't know how the ratios work obviously triss is a bit uh, wobbly not always going to get a talisman from her but she's probably still worth it in this kind of a deck uh, and yeah we'll see how this one goes pretty excited to try that hire quacks and hopefully mill some of the opponent's better cards early in the game let's go okay we're going to be up against a bit of skellige to start with Hopefully we can take away Ceres from them, or Hemdal, with that Huarapax, uh, if we can pick it up, there it is. Got to be very careful not to have the Spear Tip in hand though, when we do play this of course. Get rid of Nickers, we've got a Predatory Dive which can be really nice on this coin. Um, hmm. I think I have to take a Mulligan, it's a bit scary because I could draw into Spear Tip, but the hand isn't too great. Kind of need something a little bit more. I'm not sure what though. What to take as a mulligan? Could get rid of the eggs, but they're working nicely with the warrior. Maybe we just keep it. Maybe we actually just keep it. We've got a chimera with the uh, Doldy Lock. It does feel a bit wonky not not getting more golds in this round one. Not trying to get more golds in the round one, I should say. But yeah. Oh, it looks like it's Lippy, guys, and you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> we maybe just get a free win with a Horaquax here. Should we just go for it? We could wait until Ceres is out in order to try to you know, have a better shot. Um, maybe we'll just play some of our weaker cards then. I don't think I want to actually go with a natural selection here. I don't want to play the dive into Roach. I mean, it might not get too much value later anyway, but... Yeah, maybe dive is a bit wonky in this list because it is bricking the Triss a bit something to think about. Also, not running Heat Wave. I think a lot of these decks run Heat Wave just because we got a Hwirofax and everything. And Yen also is a card I'm not entirely sold on, but it's probably okay, isn't it? All right, we'll go Warrior, we'll go Hwirofax. We might even kill this, although maybe we're gonna boost it, right? Yeah. So we can just go with the Hwaraquax now, I think. Hopefully we get the Lippy, we'll see. Need a good Ooh, gonna be Cyrus, okay. Not quite not quite what we wanted, but it's okay. In fact, is Lippy 12 provisions now? I actually don't know. So it might mean they have Lippy in hand. I should probably know that. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Either way, it's a pretty big point swing for us. We just play a 12 point card effectively, nullify the Cyrus. And if we can win this round, that would be really good for us, because I think we never lose a short round in this matchup, really. And the one downside of playing the Sephiroquax combo is you do have a very tall unit in the Spear Tip, 
where normally this deck really avoids having tall units and can brick a lot of removal. So that's a bit of a weakness to having this card that's something to think about, whether you actually want to run that yourself we or not. Do it my way. Kind of doing it more for the, uh, just for the fun factor, you know. Um, okay, well we can keep playing the round, I see no reason to stop just yet, we can play some weaker cards. Just our four provisions. Our four provisions trade so efficiently into just so much stuff, which you love to see. Give them no rest, no reprieve. Oh, shield maiden. I will spawn even more insectoids. Why not? We're going to be able to get a very big chimera. There's our knickers coming out as well to help the team. I think we should be winning the round. Surely they're running out of steam a little bit. What would be ideal for them is if they can Heat Wave or Curse of Corruption this round. Looks like they don't have access to it. So now we can take the round with the Neuromancy or Parasite. Depends which we would prefer to kind of get rid of here. Um, we could thin the deck out with the Wispest Tribute. That might be the best play. Take Tribute into a Natural Selection because I'm not sure that card will do a great deal later on here. And the Wisp itself is not a great card either, so I think I like that. Since we're probably just going to immediately pass into round 3, right? Our Swarm in round 3 should be uh, more than enough to win the game, I think. I mean, I'm hoping we have a better long round than them. It's actually entirely possible that we brick ourselves and have too much... Um, and have too many units on the board, so we've got to be a bit careful about that. Might mulligan my dive um, as well. I think, think that'll do. That'll do. I think that'll happen. I think I'll be doing that. Not going to be a very good card in round three. Most likely. I mean, we might be able to snipe something half decent, but yeah. So we want lots and lots of. Yeah, I think this is looking good. We'll get rid of dive. We'll get rid of eggs. That's fine. Pass. Looking good. Hand is looking very good so far. We maybe want just one one more card, maybe Triss, maybe Nest, in order to swarm a bit more, because we don't have too much swarm going for us at the moment. Aside from the leader, of course. Squirrel comes down, that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. I think we should be looking good, because often these lippy decks have a uh, tool removal, right? Which probably won't do much against us. They're going to be relying on that a little bit to actually acquire points. So I'm pretty happy with the hand. Parasite, arguably we'd rather have a nest, because it might still be hard to get enough units. Um, we'll be able to fill one row up without too much trouble, which is good for chimeras. Uh, but yeah, we've got to be a little bit concerned. I think Parasite's quite useful anyway. And, you know... We can always a Neuromancy something, so we can always a Neuromancy into Arrakis Nest should we need it. I think I'll keep this. Looks fine to me. I think the hand just gets worse by drawing into Eggs and Warrior or Predatory Dive or... Time for some marauding. There's Lippy. He is 11, what so not, not going crazy. He is, in fact, still 11 provisions. If he was always 11, he might have been 10 before, actually. Maybe I am going crazy. I don't know. Really hard to know, guys. Really hard to tell when you are and you aren't going crazy. We've also got Doldy Lock. That, Doldy Lock can help us fill up the back row, so that's good. I think I'll just start immediately here with the Evolution. And then maybe Behemoth on this front row. Basically fill the front row up with, with spiders, with drones. And Swarm is feeling pretty strong this patch. Haven't really played it. It do be looking quite good. This is basically three units, so we can have two more on front. We probably want Yen. I mean, we might even go with the Yen front row, guys. I'm not going to lie here. This, this is entirely... It's entirely possible that we'd want that. Would kind of nuke our back, so maybe not. For this reason, Yen is a bit... It's going to be a bit dodgy in this deck, can't it? Um, okay, so thinking about this, I'm pretty sure we want to go... Two more of these on this row. And that'll take us to nine when we slam the behemoth. Okay. 
many points in the house right now. Then we can go with Doldu Lock onto a Chimera. Looks quite good for me. Don't you of course, Parasite, if there's ever an engine from the opponent, but we don't have to worry too much about that against Lippy. So Doldu Lock. I'm hoping we're going to have enough room, enough room. Oh wait, oh, I'm so dumb, aren't I? This is this is adrenaline, isn't it? I've completely forgotten about that. It's adrenaline four. Oh no. Okay, well we can eat the behemoth. It's actually fine. I, I say it's fine just to uh, <laughs> maintain my ego. Can't feel too bad about that, despite that being a pretty horrendous misplay. But you know, it is what it is. I don't think we'll be losing as a result. Could be wrong. We're gonna get Lugos here, which is, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain. It's a little bit of a pain over here. Uh, can't play the Chimera just yet. So what are we gonna go for? Parasite's an option. We could just go for a Parasite. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. We might just want to fill up the row a bit more, although I'm, I'm scared of overstacking. <laughs> and our Yen is gonna be a bit pitiful here, I think, which is a problem. It is a problem. We want to do the Chimeras at the very end, right? So... Yeah, this is a bit wild. Maybe we just have a check and see what Triss is getting. Nah. Let's go Dalton Lock. Let's go... I'm kind of just winging it at this point. Let's go Parasite. Do we go Parasite? Ah! <laughs> we go Triss! Just I'm not sure what I'm doing. Okay, this looks okay. This looks okay. Or maybe that's too many units. Christ! Maybe that's too many units. We've got Yen. We've got Parasite as a unit. We consume one with Chimera. Oh man. What a wild, what a wild ride here. Probably want to play Triss. Or oh, not Triss, Yen, I should say. Sooner rather than later. Maybe they're the just going to kill our units. And, it done. and we'll struggle anyway. Um, it's possible. Okay, we can Chimera. That's fine. Although maybe Yen was the play there, actually. Oh god, this deck's kind of hard to pilot, guys. I'm uh, <laughs> making a bit of a mess of it. But we're going to take Bone Talisman. I think we'll be okay. We might miss out on like one or two board space. Like I might have one or two less points, but we're also accounting for the fact Need that they could remove Just our units, right? So that's probably okay. Um, may as well play a unit here. Get slightly more yen value. You it's not a very good yen, because Lippy actually swarms quite a lot. But, you know, we're finishing the game out with some 18-point uh, plays, so... Well, not quite that. 17, but... Should be alright, I think. Two seventeens and a six. I do not this is Lippy words. without proper finisher. I mean, I'm feeling okay. I, I guess we go with the talisman first. It's the most... Uh, I, <laughs> I've misplayed this round horribly, haven't I? But that's okay. At least we're kind of trying to point out some of the mistakes here. Just noting, you've got to be a bit careful with the row limit. Maybe play the Yen a bit earlier, and we have a bit more of a board advantage, but all in all, not a bad one, not a bad result. Still crushing the Lippy. And we'll take it. Didn't even pull the Lippy with the Avara packs, but if we did that... Yeah, I think you know what would happen there. Alright, let's go for another. Alright, Shield Wall time. This might be a tricky matchup. Because they're going to have engines that I can't really deal with. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get there. Let's see what we can do. Spear tip, get rid of that. That's not helpful in any way. It's gonna feed their ansays and stuff, right? But, whatever. Whatever. Not too upset about it. Um, maybe we can get rid of one egg, so I'm not even sure the eggs will be active here, since we don't have a warrior. We get rid of a nest as well. Uh, maybe nest is good as an opener. Okay, we did draw a warrior, so... I will get rid of Ness now. Drew the Knickers, which may actually be a good thing on blue coin. We don't necessarily need that to win the round. We don't want to over overextend. Just 
pile it to eggs, why not? Don't really have any removal. We can take one piece with the crone. No audiences. Otherwise, it's a bit today. tricky. That's okay though. Um, I mean, I'm tempted to just kill this. Actually, tempted. Of course, it's going to mean the other stuff will be hard to deal with. But I want to get another. Another unit on the front, if if possible, that would be great. So I think I think we'll go for it. It's a bit weird, isn't it? A bit of a slightly weird play, but there we go. It pays off. Get an extra point from the, from the warrior now, and then we'll boost up all those insectoids. This is kind of what you think when you think of monsters, nice right? In which so we get in which are, Bloody streakers! A bunch of a bunch of insects, overwhelming. Uh, it's going to be annoying having this Griffin Witcher here, but you know what? Maybe it's fine that they kill my stuff. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's some space on this room anyway. Like I need a bit of space up in here. I might actually play Yen this round. Seems like a somewhat valid card to commit. If it crushes the, the NR folk here. They've used a shield already. That's good news. It's very good news. Trident! I'm going to give the Trident a boost. That is not very good news. But I don't really have any other play other than Yen here, I think. So we just go Yen and hope that it forces them out, kind of thing. I mean, we can also go ahead and play Chimeras after this Yen. You best yield now! It's a really huge Yen player. I don't think they can fight this now. I don't think so. And then we're going to have to push round two, I think. Because I'm not dealing with... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with these guys in round three. There's a Gota of Corvo. Yikes. No thank you. No thank you. They're, for sure they're not going to do maths. Because maths is... Maths is difficult. Of course, they can always hit the warrior here, but I'm passing that. Nah, 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 Do they actually have it? Oh, gosh. Ah. Let's pass. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. Maybe we can actually win a long round. And if it means they have to punch, maybe we can win a short round. Maybe we're just fine. It's annoying that I have such a big unit. It does allow the Ansays to very easily bridge the gap. I think they do actually have enough with an Ansays, which is really unfortunate. At least they're going to have not so much leader value. That is some kind of bright side. Come forth, coward, and you're on doom. We're nearly getting a card from them, but it's not. Not quite enough. Arguably we should play a Chimera there and have control of the game, but part of me is happy to see the Ansays out. Not going to hit my spear tip. Um, maybe we can even play that play in round two though. Not sure. We'll see. All in all, not a great result for us. We did get two leader charges. I am just kind of hoping that we're going to be favoured in a long round. I'm not sure if it's true. Very well might not be. We have some removal though, so that's the bright side here. Part of me wants to keep the knickers there actually. Might be smart. Problem is if they actually end up pushing, then we'd be in a quite a bit of trouble, I think. So is it the quacks? I believe it is, right? Get the best card from them. I mean it costs us a hell of a lot of provisions, but we take a yard in the way, that's gotta be good news. No! Nickers, you were the chosen one. You were supposed to be three points in round three. Not in round two. Can't rely on dogs in war, man. They just they kind of do their own thing. Just vibe around. Predatory dive. I mean, it's removal. Might randomly kill Defender if they start with it. So I'm probably going to keep it here. Uh, evolution is generally better than Nest. Um... Kind of need to get Triss. That ain't Triss. Okay, we've ended up with basically the same hand. And we can get Triss with um, with the Neuromancy, so it's whatever. 
not the end of the world. Let us play. Let us play some drones. I'm actually a bit worried we'll have too many units here with double uh, double evolution. We'll see though. Hopefully we can control this board a little bit with the dive and with the parasite. Uh, nope. Not gonna happen. Right, well our dive doesn't get any worse, really, so... We can hold on to it, maybe it'll find some sneaky value against a drummer or something. You never know, right? You never know. God, this deck has just a ridiculous amount of points. It really does. I'm hoping that Ahuaraquax tech is going to be the thing that, that carries this game here. Oh, Adelia is pretty annoying. There are things in the universe we might have found a lower floor after all. <laughs> They're gonna have double tridem and Anna. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna be miserable, man. Ah well, dive isn't, you know, whatever. <laughs> we gotta watch out for this trident because it will start sniping everything. And that is not gonna feel too good. So another evolution. And we'll certainly think about beginning the uh, Talisman train, or maybe play a Triss in a second here. Oh, here it comes. And a Stringer. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We get some at least bigger dive value. But enough about diving around here. We've got to... We've got to juice up our board before uh, before it's too late, I think. Okay, we can just pray that Triss hits the right target, yeah? I think that's going to be the play here. Um, let's keep it at that. I don't want to overdo it here. I don't want to overdo it. Just casually uh, 40 points on our board right now. I mean, the Anna Tridem engine is, is bloody scary. Yes. I'll give them that. I will give the opponent that much. We could just parasite this now. It's good enough engine route to deal with. They probably don't have Corvo if they didn't want to shield it. Corvo would actually die to dive right now, which is kind of fun. Ooh, we have a chance of sniping the frigate here as well, which I'm a fan of. Let's let's go for that. 50-50. Fuck. Oh wait a second, it's gone in the Triss row. Uh-oh, absolute nightmare. It's fine, guys. It's fine. We can play Chimera on front row. Don't panic. Nobody panic. We're okay. Dark clouds. Chimeras are actually carrying. We could even play another Chimera if we're at, if we're a bit worried about Triss getting value. We could just double up left, on the Chimera value. Right. Left, Gosh, it would have been right. so good to kill the frigate here. Really, really would have been great. Um. Hmm. This is interesting, isn't it? Is it just Chimera time now? I guess it is. I guess it is. And then we do another Chimera on back, and then we Triss for the Talisman. That may have not been the actual best way to get the most points. Perhaps Bone Talisman first was better. Or Triss first. I think Triss first was risky though. We could uh, brick the board. Keldar as well. Oh man, these engines have ferocious that's a lot of points that is a lot of points sir. so perhaps we go with the talisman now it only gets better by one point so it doesn't seem too big of a deal to use it now okay that's at least not the best card at the stage I mean, it's, it's pretty good it's pretty okay but i'm so glad there's no yurden can you imagine a yurden here it would be quite a miserable thing Triss is a bit wonky, it might backfire horribly. But if we get a talisman, I think we're good to go. So let's hope hey, for that. I can see Care Seren from here. Triss, Talisman, Triss, Talisman. Or do we just go Doldu Lock? Is it good enough? Hmm. Let's do a little bit of quick maths. How many Travel points do we need here? How many points become? do they have? What is likely their last card? Jesus Christ. I think we need Triss Talisman to win this. They're up so much. 
I believe in the gods of Hyrule. Here we go. I, will not let this I don't, a actually. Sodden. That was a lie. Oh my goodness. What a joke. We've got a beast, so we can at least boost for eight. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, not a great one. Well, we can maybe still win if their last card is shoddy. If they've got a terrible play. Uh, they've got an extra bunch of points from all the engines here, which is lovely. No Baron, please. Griffin Witcher! Oh my god. The wonders of projectiles and ranged weaponry. I think, I think, I don't know who wins. <laughs> oh, you've got to be joking. Wow. That's a way to end the game right there. Wow. <laughs> Cutting it a little bit close there. Just limit testing. Fair enough. So we have we have a pretty good long round, I would say. Our long round is uh, <laughs> it's quite okay. Not a bad result. Let's go for one more. All right, Keltalis time. Ooh, an interesting one. Very interesting. I wonder how this will go. Siri might pose a real problem. That and pretty much everything. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Maybe we can snipe them with a little cheeky predatory dive if, they, uh, if they're greedy here. We've always got that in the back pocket. Um, double eggs, it's gonna be kind of too much, but at the same time, I'm sort of happy to do it. Um, okay, selections, like, I just don't think the selections really achieve anything here, so I'm gonna mulligan them. Um, and then maybe an evolution, sure. Alright, I'm gonna go back row. We won't play Yen this round, probably. That's fine. Please play Siri, that would be a wonderful, wonderful thing. I would be so happy. But guys, I've got to say, I'm really happy with this deck so far. Like, the Ehwara Quacks actually saved us so hard last game. <gasps> oh my god. It's happening. It's actually happening. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's not quite a Siri. But I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll fucking take it, man. It's a leader charge, it's a 8 provision card gone. I had to check. <laughs> I had to check for a second there. It's all good. That's a great start, I will say. You can run, That's you a can truly hide, great start. For us. More. You. More insects. More. Give me more. Ah, <gasps> beast! That dies. We actually can kill that. Thank the Lord Himself. It's in the wrong row, my dude. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Look at this round. This round's playing out wonderfully for us. We're using our kind of difficult to use cards: the eggs, the warrior. Ah, oh, full full row. Got a Chimera. Got Doldu Lock. Beautiful stuff. Could play the Aquara Packs here. Ooh, how would that end for us? That's very interesting. I could just slam an Aquara Packs here to get rid of the Kelphilus, for example. What do you reckon? Seems like a great play, doesn't it? Seems like just a great play. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, they'll start burning my dudes, but sure. We've just gotta do this, I think. There's so... Oh. Yigurn. Oh. They've got Keltulus in hand. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. 40 points. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god, this deck is disgusting. What am I playing? Keltulus is just getting dumped on completely. Absolutely r rough for this guy. Okay, well... Of course, the Siri is still out there, waiting to be used. I'm just going to swarm it up. We might just go with like a very fast Yen here with the leader to put pressure on in this round. That might be the way to go. Not gonna, not wanting to play against a long round Keltulus, because that might be a bit painful. But in a short round here, or rather, we want to get to a short round against it. 
is what I'm trying to say. Then we'll be in okay shape, I think. Okay, we've got the Osro. What's to play now? Could a Nero for Behemoth, but part of me wants to keep the Nero around. Part of me wants to use it now. Oh, tricky. Hmm. I'm a bit scared of overcommitting as well, you know, we've got to deal with Siri and Keltulis now, that's the final two big ones. Maybe the, the slow play is good, the, the evolution, right? Maybe we just commit to being a card down at some stage here if they play more good cards. I like the evolution play here. It's like the slow, the least risky of the plays, I suppose. But also not putting on too much pressure for the opponent, letting them do their own thing. They're playing a squirrel. Ooh, I have bad news for you, mate. I think that is going to signal me to pull the trigger on this on this bitch. Hold on a sec. How many units here? Seven. Let's let's just start using leader value here. Here we go. Doldu lock value is insane right now, so I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm running with it all the way to the bank. And I might just refill and go again. Or maybe play Yennefer. Yennefer's coming. Yennefer's looking pretty good, man. It's looking pretty good. I'll tell you that. With Doldy Lock, get the best card on the top of the deck, hopefully. Triss, if you like. Keltulis comes down. But you know what? I'm not too phased by that, my dude. I'm not too phased at all. I think I will still go. How will I? Could also just reset and go for round three now, but then we're a card down and that doesn't feel too good. I think we just pull the trigger on this and, and go all in, basically. I think so. The board is looking pretty pretty uh, set up for it, isn't it? Oh my gosh, look at that. There'll be nothing look to at that. Up when I'm done with what you. a swing. Beautiful. Now the issue we're going to have here is we have basically nothing for round three. And our talismans... Well, let's not say that, yeah, let's say they're not looking too hot. So if we don't 2-0 now, it's it's looking a bit we're a bit worrying, a little bit worrying. On the bright side, I'm playing Chimeras for like a billion points. And I think I'm not going to stop, at least until I see Siri. And I mean, I don't know how they make this many points at this, at this stage. Just seems a bit rough, even with three point per turn engine. Um, Alright, the question now, I think, is do we let them out, or do we just just keep rolling? Just fucking keep rolling, man. We're playing these for so many points, I think we have to keep rolling. It's really the only way. Just 2-0, just 2-0. Just 2-0 these damn Keltulis players. Siri is now dead, so that if they're relying on that to get points, then they're not going to be in luck. I think this is a 2-0. Just take Triss. Or Behemoth. Behemoth might even be better. Behemoth might even be better, guys. I don't know. They're both pretty good. We'll go Triss. Maybe that was dumb, because it could have been on the top of the deck, right? But... Um... Oh, what are we doing? Are we playing around... Heatwave? Playing around Heatwave, we shouldn't buff our guy, but then again, nah, we'll play around Heatwave. I'll be, uh, I'll be safe. Now the Keltalus doesn't even do anything. There's no way they win here. We just, just smork, just kill them, <laughs> just brutalize them. Frenzy, what is fre frenzy down, boys? There is a Heatwave. Okay, yeah. No mercy, no mercy shown for these other monster players, man. Just eviscerate them with the the drone horde. Lubberkin, fellow Lubberkin, lovely. Um, yeah, just good stuff. Pretty good wins with this deck. We're pretty high MMR on this as well. So that's chill. Yeah, not a bad one. I like that Ihuarakwax tech. We got we stole some pretty good cards there. Helped us out in that game two, undeniably, and arguably in that game three as well. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe as always for more videos. And uh, I've been reading some of the nice, lovely comments from you guys. It's very, very uh, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a great one. Bye.